Hey superstars, welcome back to one of my autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug them through the mail for an autograph. I've been really enjoying the 1960 Pirates team. Not only is that one of baseball's greatest stories, it seems like most of the guys are fantastic through the mail signers. And today's lucky victim, Mr. Vern Law, is no exception. Mr. Law is 90 years young, the father of former major leaguer Vance Law, and like the rest of the Pirates, had a really good season in 1960. Not only did he win two games in the World Series, he went 20 and nine to win the Cy Young Award. And he made the All-Star team twice in the same year. Sure, it was weird that Major League Baseball held two All-Star games a year from 1959 to 1962, but it's cool that guys like Vern Law got to say they were two-time All-Stars. After getting over some injuries, he also won the NL Comeback Player of the Year Award in 1965. I don't usually talk too much about the doodle as I'm doing it, but this one's a little different. The day that I did this, I learned that artist Ron Cobb had passed away. Cobb was most famous for designing the Back to the Future DeLorean and the Nostromo from Alien. He was also a great cartoonist and I have a ton of respect for his work, so I wanted to channel him a little bit and try to make this one a little bit more graphic. I don't know if it was completely successful, but there's still something I like about it and I had fun trying. Uh, my kid said that I made him look like an Easter Island Moy statue. But enough about Ron Cobb. This video is supposed to be about Vern Law. Dude was a man's man. Probably eats barbecue ribs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Nobody told him pitchers couldn't hit because his lifetime batting average was 216 with 11 home runs. Have you seen the cut of this guy's jib? He probably shaves with a proper straight razor and uses motor oil as aftershave. And I bet he played for the Pirates because Pirates were awesome, much more awesome than little cardinal birdies or cute little baby cubby bears. When he needed a new baseball mitt, he probably butchered the cow himself, processed his own leather, assembled his mitt, and then had steak for a snack. You know, because he planned on ribs for dinner. What else, what else, what else? Uh, he was such a manly man, he probably went on dates with his old lady and treated her with respect and dignity and probably didn't refer to her as his old lady either. Uh, and I bet you he got pulled over for speeding once and the cop let him off because Vern Law doesn't need to follow city laws, he only follows Vern Laws. Um, that last one was pretty bad, I'm sorry. On that note, I'm gonna stop there. There's our doodle. I've got an appropriate 1960 bubblegum card. Look at that face. He could be the brawny paper towel man. Got my note and a little cash donation. Pop that in the envelope and off to the mailbox. for something other than political mail. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Inscriptions galore. Cy Young and World Series 1960, Lou Gehrig Award 1965, and two-time All-Star 1960. He even remembered to sign it. And he even answered my questions. As a hitter, he liked facing Sandy Koufax, Bob Gibson, and Warren Spahn. Wow, dude was not afraid of anybody. He doesn't have a favorite artist. No time for Nancy Boy artists like me. And John Wayne would play him in the Vern Law movie. I love it. Thank you, Mr. Law. And thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And we'll see you pilgrims next time. Giddy up! Well, good luck, pilgrim. <laughs>